Welcome to timesguitar.com and let's take a look at a few ideas that I feel in my teaching career I've seen why people quit guitar playing or find it too difficult for them to learn. This is a very simple thing but if you overlook this it can be fatal. So it's about the thumb, the thumb rule. The way you keep your thumb decides whether you can play the guitar at ease or not and the position in which you are holding the guitar. So the first and the most important thing for every beginner and every level of guitar player is to first understand the most comfortable posture. So first you have to figure out how it's most comfortable. And there's another thing like if you are a beginner then you might think that the way you are playing is very comfortable but you have to consult with your teacher whether that comfort is going to help you in the future or not. But in most cases, you know, your comfortable way of holding the guitar is mostly comfortable to the body. So first you sit down like this normally. If you have a backrest, you can take, you can put your right leg over your left leg if you are a right-handed guitar player and vice versa if you are a left-handed guitar player. I'm a right-handed, so I'm putting my right leg over my left leg and it lifts the guitar up and I can sit upright, you know, I can use a backrest and the way I'm keeping my right hand is also very important. So I'll just give you a close up on this. Now, you keep your right hand like this. You can see there's a mark here, you know, the junction, the joint here. And this mark will come near this part as if you are hanging something. If you are hanging your hand, this is the most comfortable position and most people fail to understand this thing so for them what is recommended is you sit with the guitar as i have instructed and watch tv for a while you know and after a while your hand will automatically find the most comfortable position so don't be conscious you watch your favorite tv program or whatever and then you'll see that your hand is in the perfect position so what will happen your hand will come re come at rest and it will hang like this so once you found out how your hand should look like and then what you need to do is you curl your wrist and bring it here see there's a gap i'm not keeping my hand like this so most people they just bring their hand close to the guitar so the wrist has no space to move it should be curved like this you know as if i'm keeping my hand straight i'm moving it away and bringing the wrist back all right there should be a four finger more or less gap between the guitar body and your wrist and now there's another thing you can check out is how to hold the plectrum. This is where most of the people face a lot of difficulty. What I do is I, I make a ring using the finger, you know, the thumb tip and the upper part of the index finger. I keep it like this, like a lock. All right. You can see right how my nail is pointing and where it's touching you know I am diagonally crossing the thumb tip alright so it's not exactly the thumb tip it's where you use the fingerprint for okay so it's like this it's a ring and in between you put the plectrum again if you haven't watched the type of plectrum you can use you can check out the link below so this is a teardrop plectrum shape and you bring it here so what you'll see that if I remove my first finger your this portion is covered by the plectrum all right it looks like this and now in order to make it a lock you just bring your index finger and you have to keep it in such a way so that even if i move this it's not falling you know be careful and it will take some time don't expect that you learn it straight away and you'll be doing amazing stuffs using this you won't be able to we all take a lot of time to learn and holding plectrum also takes quite some time so the idea is if you see most of the plectrum is in my grip the logic is if it's far out and if you keep on playing it will either move or fall down so if you have a better grip then it won't move or fall down chances are okay but still it will fall down initially but it's okay so now I rest my little finger I have seen most of the people who have learned from some other teacher or on their own 
some of them has developed a bad technique they try to float their hand and and try to play well you can do this if you are a guitar genius but since you are a beginner you are not a genius so get back to the basics keep your little finger here you know there will be debate you know when people play fast they use it like this which i also do sometimes but initially you have to train yourself the normal way when you are learning to ride a bicycle you don't just move your hands off the handle and try riding you don't do it but once you are an expert you do it so follow this religiously anyway so you keep the little finger here and the plectrum should be perpendicular to the strings and you move it with this and i've seen people doing only down strokes down 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 the logic is down up down up so when you are going down for the next down stroke your finger is anyway coming up so if you use this motion then you can save a lot of time it's like this you've got two foot and if you just walk with one foot the same thing if you do only down stroke so you'll be handicapped in a way by using only one stroke so strictly alternate picking and the more you practice you'll understand all right so this is about keeping the right hand and uh, the little finger and holding the plectrum you know and i can rest it so after doing it for a few days you'll definitely find the sweet spot and now let's get back to the left hand now the thumb is the most important thing in guitar playing all right so the way you keep your thumb decides how easily you are going to move your fingers or you'll be able to move your fingers on the guitar so there are two ways initially you need to know later on the more you get used to it then you'll find out ways on your own how to adjust but the first thing to know is initially you learn finger exercises you have to there's no other way all right so for finger exercises and stuff you need to keep your thumb in such a way that this portion of your hand doesn't touch the guitar so if it touches the guitar then your fingers are restricted as if i'm tying something to your leg and asking you to run you won't be able to so this area should be free so that my fingers can fly anyway so if you look at this in this angle see so much area is empty and there's another thing that you need to see i'll give you a different view so this is the back side of the guitar you know i am keeping the thumb in a straight way i've seen people doing this this is wrong always check out for this if you are doing something of this sort this will come naturally to you if you are a beginner this is wrong keep it straight as if thumbs up and with this part you touch the guitar and move the wrist ahead all right so it's a bit awkward initially see my wrist is moving up or moving forward so mostly people try to keep their wrist back my wrist should be more or less parallel to the guitar level not exactly but diagonally it should be like this so that your fingers are moving the moment you keep it like this the fingers are getting restricted all right so it should be like this so that's the way you can keep your thumb left hand thumb and there's another thing like when you are accessing the strings in this region like the first string second string and third string your thumb can go up so it's inversely proportional so when you are accessing the strings here like the first second and third string your thumb can move up and you can access these strings easily and similarly if you are accessing the strings here your thumb will come down and you move the wrist ahead and it becomes easy so it's inversely proportional if you go down the guitar your thumb can come up and if you go up the guitar your thumb will come down all right so these two things you need to keep track of and there's another thing that i've seen that while playing the finger things people try to keep the thumb like this so this is wrong so you have to keep it like this so you be your own guide and keep looking for the proper positions just supervise till you get it right and most of the people have already developed a wrong habit and it becomes difficult for them and this is the most important reason i've seen people quit guitar you know there are people who come to me to learn guitar and they say that i've been learning for last 3 years but i couldn't play properly that's why i gave up i learned for 2 months or 3 months or whatever you know they could play but 
not interesting not in an interesting way then i've seen that they're keeping their thumb and trying to play something so if you ask me to do this i've been playing for many years i won't be able to do and you can keep the thumb like this clamped like this when you are playing chords because in chords the fingers are moving once when you are shifting and once the shifting is done it stays static okay it doesn't move so you can use the thumb like this for proper grip and there are many cases like in some chords like bar chords you're not supposed to keep it like this because if you keep it like this then you won't be able to hold bar chords so then again there are different cases so the two important things that you need to know as a beginner is keep the thumb straight and keep this area cleared so that your fingers are free to move and keep it straight don't curve it or curl it and for chords basic open chords you should always keep the thumb here and if you are unable to use it you just keep it close to the upper part of the guitar all right that's about it i hope it helps so please let me know in the comment if this video helped you you know after doing it for a month or so or maybe for two weeks you won't get instant result obviously so if it helped in improving the technique and guitar playing let me know and if you are planning to quit and if you are thinking that it's too difficult for you and it helped then also feel free to write a comment and you can share it with the like-minded people who feel that it's very difficult to help them out anyway thank you very much i'll see you next time thanks for watching and do like us in facebook and twitter where there are pages in the name of tams guitar and also mail me at info@tamsguitar.com if you have any queries and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel share it with your friends who are in need see you next time bye bye